Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part 9 of the same topic. So we'll see the inning 6.5. So they said solve the following using a suitable identities. So you must have seen there are many identities like a, example a plus b whole bracket square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Then a minus b whole bracket square that will be a square minus 2ab plus b square. So again there is a plus b and a minus b. If it is that course that is going to be a square minus b square. Or in some cases it will be a square minus b square and then you have to write here a plus b a minus b or you can also write here a minus b a plus b both is the same because why? If you write 5 into 3 is also 15. And if you write 3 into 5, that also is 15. So now, whenever there is a bracket, two brackets, so there is a multiplication sign in between. And again, there is one more. That is x plus a into x plus b. That will be x square plus a plus b into x plus that will be a b. This is also one of the identities. So now let us see which identity is used in this such type of problems. Now we'll go one by one. So now see here, can you see this y plus 8 and y plus 8? So there are two times the same. So we can write here y plus 8 whole bracket square. So this will be a plus b square. So by using identity a plus b whole bracket square, that is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So now let us, we have considered this a, this as b. So what will you write here? This in a in place of a that is y that will be y square plus two a is y. So you can write if you want separately if you get confused. A is y and b is a. So this you can write it in the other if you get confused. Okay, and here this b is a and this b square means that is a square. So y square. This together you have to multiply. So what will be here? First look at the coefficient that is 16 and this is y plus 8 square is 62. So this is the answer. Now look at here both are same but then we will write here 3z because both are negative here. 3z minus 2 whole bracket square. So this will be a minus b whole bracket square. So a is 3z and b is So here we don't have to look at the negative sign. Just we have to write here B as 2 and not negative 2. So this step is very important. So just write B as 2 and not negative 2. So now what is the identity? A minus B whole bracket square is A square minus 2AB plus B. You have to learn this formula. So now A, A square. Now see here 3Z and square. So whenever we square it means you multiply this into this and this into this. So t square is 9z square. We have done this in exponents. So don't forget, just don't write 3z square. Many of them just write, don't ignore this 3 and just write 3z square. No, we have to square this as well as this one. So now this is going to be 9z square minus 2. A is 3z and B is 2. And this will be 2 square. As I said, it should not be minus 2 but just 2. Now 9z square, this is together because this is 2ab. So we'll look at the coefficient, 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12, and this is z. So minus 12z and 2 square is 4. So this is the answer. Again, here the same, both are same. So we write it 2x minus 5, 1 by 5, sorry. That is whole bracket square. So this again, a minus b whole, whole bracket square. This is the identity. You have to write the identity. So a square minus 2ab plus b square. So you write it here if you want. a is 2x and b is 1 by 5. So now we will write it 2x square minus 2. a is 2x. b is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 whole bracket square. So now again as I said 2x and square. 2 to the 4 and x square. So this is 4x square. Now here will be just look at the coefficient. Here in the numerator is just 4 and the denominator is y. So 4 by 5 and this is x. And here 1 by 5 whole bracket square means this you have to do this way. So 1 by 5 square is 25. So 1 by 25. 
now this is different so you can see the both the numbers are same but the, there is a plus or minus sign so what is the which identity we are going to use a plus b this is a plus b and this is a minus b so a is 6x and b is plus 1 by 2 so now we have a plus b and a minus b that is a square minus b square so a square means 6x square whole bracket square and b square means 1 by 3 square so again 6x square so that is going to be 36x square and this is 1 by 3 means this is going to be 1 by 9 so this is the answer now here again these both are same these both are same only does there is a here is plus and here is minus so the identity changes so this is a plus b and this will be a minus b so that will be a square minus b square so now you know a is minus 2p and b is q so minus 2p whole bracket square and minus q square so this is going to be see here how this became plus because whenever there is an e1 number in the exponent so always that is going to be plus so minus 2 square that is going to be plus so it was a 4 but that will be plus plus this will be 4p square minus q square is the answer here the same these both numbers are same now what you can see here is 15 and here is 10 so which identity are you going to do this is the important one so that is a x plus a because this number is different and this number is different so we are going to use x plus a and x plus b hope this is clear so what is that x square plus a plus b into x this i'll tell you what because this is a confusion in this one many of them get confused here so just look at this star i'll tell you later when i'm writing and plus a b so now what is x uh, this will be x is going to be here here we are going to consider x is 3 a and a is going to be 15 and b is going to be here 10 so now what will you write here but uh, here there is going to be minus 10 because the signs are here different so here what will you do here this is going to be 3 a square a is going to be 15 and b is going to be minus 10 and see here in place of x in place of x because x is 3a so this step is important we have to write here 3a don't forget this one if you just write x you will get the wrong answer and then again a is 15 and b is minus 10 so now here this is going to be 9 a square 15 minus 10 means that is going to be 5 and this is 3a and this is going to be multiplied because a b so 15 tens are 150 but that is going to be minus same here this you are going to multiply 15a and this is going to be minus 150 so this is very important problem now see here this both same here base same but minus and plus so here either it be minus plus or here plus minus both the formula is going to be the same as i said earlier a square minus b square this is the identity so now here a is 1.3p and b is 1.2p 1.3p whole bracket square and 1.2q whole bracket square this is minus from the formula so now here square this one so you know 13 into 13 is 169 but here is a point so 13 13 is a 169 and point is there there is a point here means you will go backwards one and one so you will go backwards by two numbers and then put a point so 1.69 same for this one 12 12 is a 144 so you will go backwards by two number because 1.2 into 1.2 so that will be 144 but you will go backwards by two numbers so 1.44 and this will be q square so this is the answer here again this is same this also same so we will write here this whole bracket square but the, because both are same and the identity will be this will be a b so a plus b whole bracket square so this is the identity so now a is this part so square of this one plus 2 a is this b is this and b square so now again see here 
be careful with this one. First look at the coefficient. This is 49 a squared. So 49 a squared. But then look at the denominator 2 squared. That is going to be 4. Here what we can do this whole thing because 2ab. So now we can cut down this 2 and this 2. So what remains is now 7 3s are 21 ab, 21 ab and then denominator is 5. Now look at here. This will be 3 square means 9 b square. Square of this that is 25. So 9 b square divided by 25. So if you go systematically, we will get the right answer. Now this and this is same. Now you can see here, this and these are different. So you'll use the identity A and B here. So X plus A, X plus B. This also, as I showed you earlier, that is X square plus A plus B into X plus AB. So now what is here? A is 7, A. Was, uh, sorry here. Yeah, yeah, this X is 2P square. Then A is 7 here A and B you are going to consider as that is minus 3A. So now X square means 2P square of square of that. A is going to be 7A. B is going to be minus 3A. X, now see here this X is important that is 2P square. A is 7A and B is minus 3A. Hope this is clear. So just compare this one, this and this, this and this, this and this, this and this. So you get, you don't get confused. So now here will be two twos of four, p raised to four. So this is here. Now seven a minus three a means four a, and here two p square, and here will be seven threes are twenty one, but that is minus, so minus twenty one, and this will be a square. So now what we can see here, this will be the same. We are going to expand this part. So 4 to the 8, a p square. So 8 p square and this will be the same. So this is the answer. Now a b c minus 9, a b c plus 11. So you are going to use same identity a b c plus a because these both are different. And here a b c means you can consider x and this will be b. So, so now you know this will be x is going to be what? a b c. A is going to be minus 9 and B is going to be 11. Now you will write here x square means ABC square minus 9 plus 11 in place of this x ABC minus 9 into 11. So now your ABC square, now see here this square is for this as well as this as well as this separate. So A square B square C square minus 9 plus 11 plus 11 minus 9 that is going to be plus 2 a b c and this you are going to multiply product of that minus 99 so this is the answer 5 a b plus b square whole bracket square so you are going to use the identity here a plus b whole bracket square so that is a square plus 2 a b plus b square so a is 5 a b whole bracket square 2 a is 5 a b b is b square this is a this is b and here b square means this is the c here this is a b is here b square so you are going to be b square and you are going to square it so this step just now here this will be 25 a square b square 25 a square b square now this whole together because that is 2 ab 5 to the 10 a is alone and b cube 10 a b cube and this will be 4 2 to the 4 so b plus to 4 now here this will be a minus b whole bracket square so that is a square minus 2 ab plus b square so a is 0 0.4 a square and square of that minus 2 just here a is 0 0.4 whole bracket square b is 1.5 b square and here b square means 1.5 b square whole bracket square so now see here this into this 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 so that is going to be 16 but then we are going to go backwards by 2 that will be 0 0.16 and a raised to 4 so here what will be this together 
so here will be 0 0.8 0 0.8 into 1.5 so that is going to be 120 and here you will go backwards 1 and 2 so you will go backwards by two numbers so that is going to be 1.2 we usually don't consider this 0 so 1.2 a square b square and this when you take the square of this this is going to be 2.25 1.5 into 1.5 you can check it that will be 2.25 and this will be b square square that is going to be b raised to 2. so this is the answer so this by this you have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.